Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Cups the Universe. And we're back with another one. Of course, you know, I'm also known as Poa Lounge, and I'm also known as PD Mossberg. Today, we're going to discuss something that I was thinking about. My homeboy texted me or inboxed me earlier today, and I was like, yo, I was just thinking about that in my head, but I was like, you know, basically, everybody's been talking about China in Africa, right? Like China's buying land in Africa and what's going on, right? So let's just figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of information on how much land in Africa China actually has. So uh, let's go to the stats. Out of over 6 million hectares of alleged Chinese land acquisitions, Kari found that only 252,901 hectares of land have actually been acquired. Cameroon alone accounts for 41% of all lands actually acquired, driven by two large purchases of existing rubber plantations, over 40,000 hectares each in 2008 and 2010. Yo, that's a lot of land. That sounds like a lot of land. Right? But then you say, okay, well, is China buying this land or or like what would allow China to amass this much land in Africa, you say? Well, here's the reason. China is the continent's biggest bilateral creditor, but most of the debt is due to the private Western holders of African debt, according to the new reports. Private sector maneuvering rather than Chinese scheming more likely to induce a wave of defaults, researchers say. Hmm. At the end of 2020, of the 97 countries of which data was available, those with the highest external debt to China were all involved in the project, namely Pakistan. Namely Pakistan. 70 7.3 billion of external debt to China. Angola, 36.3 billion to China. Ethiopia, 7.9 billion to China. Kenya, 74 billion to China. And Sri Lanka, 68 billion dollars to China in debt is what they owe. This is why China is buying up all of Africa. Since 2000, many Chinese in Riti Lebanese, American, and European investors have acquired several tens of millions of hectare, hectares of admirable land in Africa, covering a surface area slightly larger than Cote de Levin through concession agreements. China ranks as the most active country in the world in land trade, purchasing land from 33 countries and but and but selling it to only three. The U.S. is a close second buying land from 28 countries and selling to three, following by the U.K., which bought land from 30 countries. There are over one million Chinese workers currently living in Africa at this current time. China is also buying land in Asia just as much as it's buying land in Africa. The top five countries with Chinese workers were Algeria, Nigeria, Ethiopia, the, Dominic, the, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Angola. These five countries accounted for 46% of all Chinese workers in Africa at the end of 2020. Algeria alone accounts for 70, 17%. Excuse me. An increasing number of Chinese migrants have traveled to Africa to work in trade, infrastructure, development, mining, and agriculture. Ghanaians have also migrated to China to pursue opportunities for trade and education. So Africa owes China. That's why China is all in Africa. Combined, Africa will owe China $135.7 billion is other investors that's also buying up land in Africa. So it's a combined, it's a combined, it's a combined 
purchase of land from all the investors. It's basically three. It's like UK, America, and also China. They're like the super ones. China is super aggressively buying with the, you know what I'm saying? Like they're buying all the countries up. It's 33, they get in 33 countries, and then they only sell to three countries. They only sell to three countries. And America will buy 30 countries and only sell to three countries. UK only buys 28 countries, but who knows, you know? So it's interesting to see that. It's the debt. It's the debt. Hmm. As you can see, it's over a billion Chinese people in Africa already. There's a billion Chinese people in the military in China. So that's a lot. That's already 2 million people. There's over a million people in Africa, Chinese people, which is cool. I don't have nothing against Chinese people. They're migrating there. They're migrating there to, to do mining, to do infrastructure, you know, build pipes, lines, electric wire, you know, electric, you know, pathways so people's homes can get electrified and get energy and, you know, basically those type of energies, um, probably wind, maybe solar, you know, they're doing agriculture out there, so they're doing the farming. So, you know, they're mining over there. You see they in the Congos. They're in a lot of the richest countries in Africa, too. So they're going to get some diamonds. They're going to get this. They're going to get that, you know? I started thinking. I said, hey, you know, if we can go over there and buy land, like, what's going on over here? Who owns land in America? And then you would never really believe what I figured out. It's kind of hilarious. Who owes who, right? I didn't really realize some of this stuff. So let's just go to the stats and see what, you know, the stats is talking about. The report says 37.6 million acres or about 2.9% of the nation's total farm, ranch, and forest lands were under foreign ownership in 2020, the latest year for which data was available. Although foreigners are allowed to own properties in the country, there are certain limitations. Land designated for agriculture cannot be held on freehold, but only on a 99-year lease. On the other hand, foreigners are free to own land designated for commercial and residential purposes. Russia owns land in the United States? What? If I'm reading this chart right, it seems to me that Russia has like 400,000 or like 300 some thousand more land in America per million square miles than Canada. Hmm, that's a lot of land. Canada is the biggest foreign owner of United States agriculture and timberland and owns 4.7 million acres in the United States. The Netherlands is the second largest foreign owner with 4.6 million acres. But did you see how they forgot to mention that Russia owns land in the United States too? While China raises concerns over American boots on the ground in Asia, the country continues to grow its own footprint in the U.S. USDA's latest data shows China owns over 191,000 acres of U.S. lands. But that was before a North Dakota land sale this spring. China hands out at least twice as much development money as the U.S. and other major powers. New evidence shows, with most of it coming in the form of risky, high interest loans from Chinese state banks, the sheer amount of Chinese lending is startling. Hmm, isn't America lending out a lot of money and high interest rates at the banks? Hmm. Of the total 7.42 trillion held by foreign countries, Japan and mainland China held the greatest portions. China held 980.8 billion US dollars in US securities. Japan held 1.21 trillion US dollars worth. Other foreign holders included oil, exporting countries, and Caribbean banking centers. Get ready for this statistic. 
China owes $981 billion in U.S. debt. That means United States owes China nearly $1 trillion. So, Russia owns land in the United States of America. But Russia also owns the United States of America. I see. Russia owes 40 billion U.S. in foreign bonds. About half of that to foreigners. Hmm. If they owe foreign bonds, then they received paper monetary money. Hmm. So interesting, right? China owes owns land in America. Canada owns land in America. Russia owns land in America. Russia owes America 40 billion in um bonds. Hmm. Interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. I see why the Great Wars or the World War Three is supposed to be fought between either China, or Russia, or America. It's business. Russia owes the United States money. America wants its money back, but can't go and take it back. America owes China money, like damn, like almost a trillion dollars, and. Uh, Africa is a project. One of the panels says that. A lot of countries coming in there. Pakistan, they said different ones, percent billions of dollars that they owe to China. U.S. owes China and Japan. And China is not only buying land in Africa, but also in Asia and also owns land in America. And I'm pretty sure it may be Canada and so forth, maybe even Russia. So this is why I wanted to express this to you guys, my family, my friends, people that I care about. When you hear them say, yo, they're buying land in China. I mean, I'm sorry. When you hear them say they buying land in Africa, it sounds so sudden, right? It sounds like it wasn't no Chinese people buying land in, in Africa to begin with, but they've been buying it. They're one of the biggest. And also, China is one of the biggest lenders to Africa of funding, of budgets. Not only that, Russia owns land in America. You let the stories in the news tell you, you would think the U.S. is so anti-Russian, but Russia owns land in America. So does Canada. So I, I guess America wants this $40 billion in bear bonds or in bonds so it can give it to China and, and reduce its debt. I don't know the, the debt between Russia and China. This was just because my friend, my homeboy, you know, he, he he DM'd me or he hit me in the messenger and was like, yo, bro, China buying land in Africa is wicked. And I was like, he was like, you should do something about it. Like, you know, speak about it. And so I created this. And um, I feel like it's always been happening. We just hearing about it now. One, two, that's the business. That's the trade. You see people from Ghana is going to China and they're doing educations. You know what educations they're learning? Robotics, quantum computing, quantum physics, all that high mathematics and, and stuff that they're doing in China and in Japan. And then they're coming over to Africa and they're colonized, like I guess you could say colonizing it, you know? So, bro, to everybody, that's what's happening with China. This is why America and Russia is in war. Russia owes America money, and America wants this money. Um, this is why America won't is gonna follow the 
system of rating of you know behavioral rating system because they owe China a damn near trillion dollars, nine hundred and something billion dollars. Like they basically sold they sold to China. You know, UK got some land in Africa also. So that's Europe. You see what I'm saying? Oh, and one last thing. What else does China own? Is there anything else that everybody has been a part of or has seen, you know, people say they want to be a part of, you know, when they, you know, win certain games? Can anybody just guess? I'm going to give you five seconds to just just blurt out when you're watching this video. When you see this, when you see this, I want you to blurt out what, what, what corporation do you think China owns or has ownership in? All right? I'm going to give you five seconds. Blurt it out now. Ah, I heard y'all, I heard y'all, I heard y'all, 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 y'all was close, some of y'all was close, I think like one or two of y'all said it, like way back there, I think I heard y'all say it, but um, let's just let the facts tell it, this is what China owns. The Walt Disney Company owns 43% of the resort, the majority, 57%, is held by Shanghai Shidai Group. A joint venture of three companies owned by the Shanghai government. Shanghai Disney Resort. Native name, if you can read it. Industry, theme parks, and resorts. Founded June 16, 2016. Headquarters, Pengdong, Shanghai, China. So basically, China owns Disney. The Disney Company, Disneyland, Disney World, Disney Movies, Disney Cartoons, Shanghai Shaddai Group is the majority shareholder in Disney. So this is why I like to express to all my brothers and sisters, not just the melanated ones, all brothers and sisters, which means everybody, um... China owns a lot of things. I'm pretty sure before this, you didn't know China owned the Disney company. Now you know. China owns land in Africa. China owns land in America. China owns land probably in Russia, probably in Australia, probably in Antarctica. I'm pretty sure of Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we say, okay, they messing with Africa. They got the whole world in their pocket. It only looks like they fighting to us. But in reality, America owes China. How can America go to war with China? Russia owes America. How can America really go to war with Russia? Because what do governments, monarchs, love more than anything else. Money, riches, you understand? So this is not only to show you that this is why China is in Africa and what, you know, estimated, you know, cause I don't have actual, you know, CIA or classified documents on these governmental businesses to tell you exactly how many, you know, hectares of land and acreage they actually own and what they actually own. But at the same time, I can give you an idea. I can pull it together and say, look, this is what the the perspective of why China is even allowed to buy these things. You would think America will go to war with China if they feel like Africa is their territory. No, America is slaves to China. And technically, Russia will be, be technically a slave to America. It owes them $40 billion in Arab bonds. 
But, you know, I doubt America is ever going to get that money. Who in the gangster? And if y'all noticed, I said, yo, Dennis Rodman should go out there and get that get um that female basketball player. And Dennis Rodman was about to go out there. But see, I said he need to go talk to his Chinese friend. Do you see why I said these things? I be knowing things without knowing things. I said he need to go talk to his Chinese friend, his little North Korean friend, so he could talk to China. Because China and Russia are buddies. So Dennis Rodman, if you hear this one, like you heard the other one that I put on Facebook, if you hear this, go to your little friend in North Korea or South Korea, whichever one it was. But your friend there, he likes you. And if you talk to him, he can talk to his friends that's in China through their connections. And as you can see, everything is a business. So China can literally get to communicate with Russia and due to business ties and business connections, forget the politics. The politics is weak. That's why Biden's standing there like, uh, we ain't, we want to give you people that's like equivalent of nuclear bombs for water guns, but nothing happens. But if you go to business route, I guarantee you, you'll make something happen. So Dennis Robin, if you hear this, go for that. All right, go to China or go to, go to, Korea, whichever one you you cool with, deal with them and let them deal with China and let China deal with Russia. You don't go out there and directly deal with Russia. Putin is a is a beast, son. Putin is a he's a gangster, son. Like I'm just gonna keep it real. Like it's not hard to tell that he's a gangster, son. You feel me? So um yo, yeah, it's your boy Cups the Universe. You already know all my aliases, and um, you know, this was just for to to you know, for the family. You know, this is something to show like, okay. You know, they want to pretend and put on the news this and that and this conflict and that conflict and this interest and that interest. I heard the whole Ukraine thing was a was 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 based for gun sales. I'm not saying that's alleged allegedly because I don't have proof to prove that. But allegedly the Ukraine and sending all the money to Ukraine and sending all the why you think they was trying to send level two vests to Ukraine when they were supposed to be having a war because it wasn't really a war. It was like they was going to sell level two vests to other people in other state, other countries. I, I can't prove that, but it makes a lot of sense. It aligns, you know? So, yo, it's your boy once again, man, sending out nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? Sending nothing, about, nothing out but good, positive vibrations. Um, Even though we're in a world that is built to deceive you, People that's in power that want you to look up to them are built to destroy you in some aspect. If they don't know you, they don't care about you. And these people would never want to know you. You know what I'm saying? Um, may you pass through these people unscathed. May they little terror tantrums and temper tantrums only affect them. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Christ and his energy and his essence and the father. The universal for the essence, the internal. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, y'all all have a great one. I hope everybody, you know, enjoys this little, you know, informative video I'm making. Um, I'm still going to go back into the um, the rest of the application. I'm still going to do all that. It's just I just wanted to finish. I just wanted to do this because somebody hit me up and asked me, okay? So, y'all all take care, and everybody have a great one. Peace.